Hello learners, welcome in this uh, another session of my YouTube based short learning videos for researchers called Research Talk. So formally welcomes you in this uh, continuous session of Research Talk. Today I am going to talk about a topic which is uh, very significant as far as uh, uh, PhD thesis uh, author or a scholar. Mainly once you are talking about PhD thesis, we mainly sometimes forget about the importance of the chapter related summary. So what is this chapter summary is all about and why it is important for many uh, universities and why and how one need to prepare it in a conventional manner so that you may have certain benefits while submitting your thesis or final thesis friends uh, once we are talking about chapter summary chapter summary is a kind of a small document which provides the examiner an insight about your entire phd thesis work this should be right in a descriptive manner which should be informative enough and can be able to establish a link between the examiner that is the thesis evaluator and the scholar or researcher what he or she is willing to write throughout the their phd work if you talk about phd chapter summary phd champ chapter summary should be understood as a documented uh, work in a summarized version by which one can justify their subject topics in terms of chapters so chapter summary is nothing but a kind of uh, illustrative summary work where one is describing about what he or she have done in the quest of justifying their phd thesis work so the topic that you need to go through into this particular chapter summary is mainly to draw down a, a thin line about what you are writing in terms of all chapters let's say if you are following the classical formula of having five chapters you are going to illustrate chapter wise chapter at least one or two paragraph in terms of final phrases of that particular chapter related summary that so and so topic and so and so title i am going to talk about this particular aspect in terms of uh, chapter 1 chapter 2 talks about this sort of literature review where i have um, comprises uh, this sort of uh, comparisons in terms of gap identification and the prior work done followed by chapter 3's uh, research methodology whatever the methods you have adopted for what all are the tools what will be the research design chapter uh, uh, sample size and other relative matters uh, you can conclude um, how do you are interlinking with the research de design in terms of problem specification and justification of objective and creating some hypothesis in terms of fourth chapter that is uh, your data analysis so you will uh, first dis describe what is data analysis process adopted by you and how do you have came across with the the questionnaire what was the sample and how do you have formulated what all are the major tests you have analyzed if it is a quest of your analytical research work later on in the chapter 5 you are going to conclude uh, that uh, that uh, entire research work mainly uh, within this chapter is going to justify what you have done what is your finding what is the uh, uh, main summary in terms of your submissions or your suggestions what all are the limitation and lastly but not uh, least it is very important what all are the future uh, what all are the scope for the future researches and what is your submission so this is going to be the chapter summary is uh, main line but if you are talking about chapter summary how many pages you should uh, involve into this it should be one side as per the thesis it should have uh, one title page followed by index and followed by specification of pay of uh, entire phd thesis work main uh, topics you need to cover for example background of the study 
uh, research uh, rationale what is your study area what is uh, this area or demography is all about how do you are creating the research problem what is your research objective what all are the tools that you are analyzing through sample related issues issues related to tool and test uh, utilized and whatever the test they are being uh, associated or derived that you may jot it down for, followed by what would be the submission by your from your end as a researcher so as a student uh, of uh, who is pursuing their, their phd degree uh, and uh, in in terms of their final preparation of your, their submission it is equally very important for the person who have to prepare this sort of uh, chapter summary because without doing that you may not be able to justify your work because in terms of many a university they are uh, requesting uh, the student to submit their phd thesis along with their chapter summary including at the inflip net that is uh, a kind of depository uh, which one need to present in the shape of soft copy that is very much uh, essential to submit with your phd thesis so kindly work hard on this uh, area also and if you are having any question related to this sort of uh, uh, um, chapter uh, summary or any phd related work may kindly give me in, uh, some questions or your faqs in uh, in the shape of uh, comment box myself uh, will be available on my regular number which is there in uh, the uh, several academic groups though i am going to describe at the end of uh, this particular uh, video or probably there in the description box as well myself uh, working as an assistant professor in the institute of tourism and travel management whereas my work related to phd is tourism academics so if you guys having any um, uh, query or any sort of uh, ideation is required from your end i am always ready to help you and students those are pursuing their uh, phd in the management or tourism related areas uh, i shall be able to help you by the name of this particular channel and this particular series called research talk so stay tuned i hope you're liking enjoying this session so if you're liking why not you're sharing subscribing my channel and uh, give me the comment so thank you stay tuned